Hi everyone, let's get into a reading. So whatever the cards want to say, keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on this channel. So this may or may not be your energy group. If this isn't your story, I'm sure there's probably other readings on here that are your energy group. So only take it if it resonates. Okay, right, let's see. What's the message for someone out there? Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's going through a major transformation. Let me see here. We have Queen of Swords. The Sun. Okay, what I feel like happened here is basically I feel like things did not go the way that you expected. You are getting what you prayed for, but it's not it's not coming in the way you expected it. So say, for example, this was a relationship. You're getting the person that you wanted. You Maybe you were with someone that was abusive or toxic or someone that was just not emotionally available and you were in that energy and you really, you knew what you wanted. You knew exactly what you wanted in a partner and you weren't getting that energy from that person. And now the divine just out of nowhere is bringing you true love. It's like all your manifestations are coming in all at once. This could also be money or career for somebody. This could be maybe like a job that you invested in. And it's it's almost like I see someone kind of had tunnel vision. They, they were very confident, very aware of what they wanted. They had a goal in mind, whether it was with a person, uh, love, career. It's like, you know, you knew what you wanted. You had that clarity. You knew exactly what you wanted and you had the confidence. You had the willpower to go after it. Um, and I think your spirit guides are trying to say, hey, you're getting what you wanted. It's just not coming the way that you expected it. Because I feel like someone feels very discouraged here. So it could be in the form of a career where you're like, you know, I want a job that you might even be someone that manifests a lot. Maybe you have a vision board or you just, you know, you work with a law of attraction a lot, you subliminals, binaural beats, that kind of thing. And I feel like maybe you had a job and you're like, you know what, I'm going to make I'm going to get that promotion. I'm going to make this amount of money per year. Um, it's like you were really driven towards something. And I feel like it ended. Whether this was a job, a relationship, it's like you put all your energy into something and that, that situation ended. But I feel like it ended to give you what you really want, to give you what you were really asking for. It's like you couldn't get it in this situation, you know? So let's say, for example, you're in this job and it's like you're just giving your everything and you're... You're, you're putting so much energy into manifesting a certain income, a certain, um, uh, you're like, I want coworkers I can be friends with. I want uh, to make this amount of money per, per month. I want, um, I want to be appreciated more. I want all these things. And then this job ends and you just feel like, wow, like what the hell? Like I was putting all that energy into manifestation and then you'll start doubting your power. You're like, why did this end? And it ended to clear that energy out. You actually are aligning with what you want, but sometimes when we align with what you want, with what we want, it's like whatever is blocking us has to be let go of. It has to be cleared out. And so I feel like you almost like started doubting your manifestation abilities because you're like, wow, I put so much energy into this job, this career path. And now, you know, now this is being taken away from me. And it, it's like, it's, it's actually an, it's actually a blessing in disguise. It's an answer to your prayers because your spirit guides are saying, hey, like you asked for, you know, you asked for a high paying job, you asked to be appreciated. Okay, let's let's put you in this other job over here where you can have all of that. You know, so you're thinking that this is like a, a curse or a hex or, or you're being punished, or you're just not a good manifester when when the entire time, it's actually the divine giving you exactly what you asked for. Um, it could be the same, you know, with love, it's like could be like a person that was abusive or manipulative. And you're saying, you know, I want to be treated this way. I want someone who texts me every day. I want someone who wants to take me places. I want someone who is vocal about how they feel. And you're putting all this energy into it. And then this person breaks up with you and you're like, what the hell? Like, am I not like what happened? Am I just not a good manifester? Am I not? And it's like, no, you're being aligned with what you want. You asked for all those qualities and this person was not capable of uh, stepping up and treating you correctly so they were they were removed basically to bring someone in who will give you that that stability 
So your prayers are basically the energy I get here is your prayers are being answered. It doesn't feel like it right now, but your everything that you've been asking for is actually coming in. It just might not be the person you thought it was going to be. It might not be the career path or the specific job you thought it was going to be. But everything that you want, everything you're asking for, it's coming in. Because um, Ten of Swords is an ending and then Ten of Pentacles, it's like you go right from one extreme to the other. It's like something ends and then out of nowhere, it's like you have this, you know, Ten of Pentacles is a legacy, a family, stability, abundance. It's like you have everything. You're just being blessed overnight. Um, there was a lot going on behind the scenes. So it's like these blessings are coming in very quickly for you because you put so much energy into this. So it's like all the energy you put into this other person, this other job, it didn't manifest with them, but all that energy was being used towards towards, um, towards another job or another person, basically, whatever was manifesting behind the scenes. The thing is, though, I feel like you're you're not seeing it from that perspective and so when this comes in, it's almost like you're a queen or king of swords. It's like you have the sun, the happiest card in the deck. You have warmth and light and abundance. But it's almost like you're like a little bit bitter because it didn't happen the way you thought it was going to happen. And it's almost like you don't even fully trust it. You're like... Well, I got my heart ripped out by this person. How can I trust this new person? Or, you know, I, I lost this old job. How can I know for sure that this new job is going to be any different? You know, and, and I think, you know, your spirit guides are just trying to show you, hey, this is we're giving you everything that you asked for. You know, you're, you're getting exactly what you asked for. Like this is actually a really it feels like such a negative thing to you, but it's actually a really good thing. You know, you've got the sun here. Yeah, there was some kind of loss here, but again, the loss, I, I feel like it, for a lot of you, I feel like it was like a financial loss or the loss of a job, but it might have been a toxic, stagnant job. And now you have the fool, you have a new start. There might be information, you might start picking up information about why this needed to be let go of this toxic job. Um, you're going to start kind of having a different perspective on it and understanding why this was keeping you stagnant. Like your energy is going to start, even though you might be stressed out, your energy is going to start to feel more and more clear is what I'm feeling. But you have a new start so you can be the queen, queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles is all about self-care, luxury, abundance, financial stability. Judgment, five of pentacles. Tell me about this. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Give me a minute, guys. Yeah, it's like you have something that's far more stable, but it's like you're not seeing it. You have, I feel like you have a business idea or you have a money-making opportunity or maybe there's a field that you've been wanting to go into but you're afraid, like you're doubting yourself because maybe you have all, maybe you have like 10 years of experience in a certain uh, fear, field. Um, but there's, it's not, it's not resonating with you anymore. It's like you're holding on to something stagnant. So just it feels like there's something behind the scenes that's been building. It's it's you know Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving, but it's it's loyal, it's stable, it's something very solid. He takes a long time to get to where he's going, but once he comes in, it's like it's something that's really solid and secure. So I feel like your guides are wanting you to follow your heart here. They're wanting you to follow your passions. Don't stay in the same career just because you've been doing it for ten years. If you feel you know, completely dead inside and you feel burnt out and you just resent even going down that career path, don't waste. Yeah, it sucks that you've already wasted 10 years. I mean, you haven't wasted 10 years. You know, it was a learning experience for you. Um, maybe even a soul contract that you needed to fulfill. But for a lot of you, maybe that soul contract has been completed or maybe you're just not the same person anymore. You're not resonating with that job anymore maybe that job is too draining it's too demanding it's it's not what you want anymore don't be afraid to just start over you know so let's say that you you spent 10 years in that field do you really want to spend 20 years you know 15 20 years do you really want to spend any more time in a job that you just are not 
interested in anymore. You're not passionate about it. You're not, um, it, it's draining your, you energetically more and more and you can feel that. So it's saying, don't be afraid to go down a new career path, you know, take those experiences and, and build something new from them. Um, maybe you're being called to, to branch out and be an entrepreneur or start your own business, or maybe even take all your knowledge. Uh, let's say you were working under other people. Maybe you're being called to take that knowledge and start something in a similar field, but it's, you're going to be the one running the business. You know, instead of instead of staying in this job, it's like you're going to be taking your experiences and your knowledge and, and doing something new with it. And it doesn't have to be for some of you, it is in that field. For others, it's something completely new that you're not even experienced with. And your spirit guides are saying, hey, just, you know, there, there's something here. There's something solid here. Just just go with your intuition more. Go with where you're being divinely led. Don't be, um, someone might be afraid to admit defeat or admit to being wrong, not wrong, but it, it's almost like someone might be afraid of disappointing their family. If their family helps them with school or if they've been in, in the same career for 10 years, maybe they don't know how to tell their family, Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to do this job anymore. It's draining me. I, I actually want to do something. Um, I mean, like I want to work with animals or I want to work with horses or I want to do something, uh, unconventional or I want to, um, I'm seeing a boat. I don't know why I'm seeing a boat. Maybe someone wants to work on a ship and maybe you're thinking about applying for a cruise job or maybe even Navy for someone. Um, could be like military or something, but it's like there's something that you're really wanting to do and you feel spiritually called to do it. And you're being called to, you know, listen to your intuition, use discernment, but really think about what's best for you. Don't, it's your life. You know, even if your parents or someone helped you with school and you've been in this, this career for 10 years, you know, they, maybe they will be disappointed. Maybe they will be upset, but they'll get over it. They'll be okay. This is your life. You can't stay in this career that you're not happy with for other people or because you don't want to, you know, disappoint or upset other people or deal with the conflict. You, it's, it's not, and anyone that really supports you and loves you is, wouldn't expect you to do that anyway. Someone that really loves you and wants the best for you, they're not going to expect you to stay in a career that's making you miserable you know, someone that truly wants the best for you is going to want you to go down the path that uh, makes you the happiest, you know, having a rewarding job. Because I just feel like you want to do something that's more peaceful. I feel like someone's been working in a, it's just like a stressful environment. Maybe it's like a fast paced environment and you're being called to do something where maybe you're working from home or you're working with animals or you're just doing something where you're not having to answer to other people or you're, ha you're, um, it's, it's like you're, uh, I just, I feel like it's calmer. Whatever you're being led to do, I feel like it's, it's more, even if it's a lot of responsibility, I feel like it's more rewarding for you. Like, because I keep seeing horses for somebody on here. It's like somebody is wanting to like do something like on a ranch or working with animals, um, some kind of, uh, it's like there's some kind of new experience here. Tell me more about this. So yeah, you know, don't be afraid of disappointing other people. It's, you know, it's again, it's your life. Go ahead and disappoint people if you need to. Do what's best for you. You know, you can't stay in a job for other people. That doesn't make any sense. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Four of Swords reversed. What is this? This is a random message, but someone's juggling you and another person and they're wanting to come back around and you know that they're juggling someone else. You know that there's, that there's a third party, so watch out for that. Let me see. This is a really random message. Let me see. Yeah, there's a third party situation. Someone's going to come back in King of Cups energy, but you're going to know that there's a third party situation. It's possible for them to end it, but you're going to have to make sure that they're a that they you're going to have to hold them accountable. You know what I mean? 
Like you're going to have to be like, okay, you ended it with, with her, you ended it with him. Let's be Facebook or Instagram. If it, I don't know if Instagram has, you know, social media official. Let's, let's tell our parents, let's tell our families that we're together. Let's go out together and, and let people know that we're a couple, you know? And if they react in a weird way, if they're like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Then, you know, something's off. But if this person's telling you they ended it and they're really willing to prove that, like they're, you know, they have some screenshots or something to prove there's no third party anymore, like they're willing to make it public, like make sure everyone that they know knows that you guys are together, then I would say go for it. Because there is potential here for them to end that third party situation, but they only if you hold them accountable. Only if you hold them accountable. I know that's a really random message. Yeah, being loving and nurturing, but also, you know, not being afraid of conflict if need be. Standing your ground. Working together. Why the devil? Someone's been waiting for you to come back and they're tired of waiting. They're about to explode. And so use discernment here. That was like just kind of a random message. But anyway, I hope this helps someone. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.